even though it's still winter, we got a little bit of sun today. I stopped for this mushroom. It grows on a dead stump. This type of mushrooms are usually called bracket mushrooms or shelf mushrooms. Shelf fungus or bracket fungus. I guess the same thing. This one has a little brother on the bottom. It's a red belted polypore. Its Latin name is Fomitopsis pinicola. Pinicola, I guess, suggests something to do with pine trees because that's their most favorite wood. But this is not a pine. This is not even a conifer. It's actually a deciduous tree, which I cannot identify at this point because it's old. Yet still this red belted polypore grows on it merrily. So it's not as picky about what wood it grows on. Fomitopsis pinicola. Bracket fungus, shell fungus, polypore. Polypore generally suggests it doesn't have gills, it has these pores on the lower side, which is the fertile side. The upper part is not fertile. They release spores from the bottom, and these pores are so small you can barely see them, but if I zoom in well enough, you may be able to see them, yeah. And that's how this mushroom reproduces. They release spores from these pores, well, the idea is that the wind disseminates them further and so they can spread, spread their seed. The fruiting body is also called a conch. There's a similar mushroom like that or similar fungus like that called the artist's conch. That's a Ganoderma family, which is a, the same family as reishi. But this one is not an artist's conch. This one is a red belted polypore and we can test it right away. Now, I'm gonna bruise it a little bit with my nail. Oh, you're hard. You're hard, I can't even bruise you, really. Basically, artist's conch, when you do that, it leaves a black line everywhere you bruise it. So, <laughs> that's, that's where the name comes from, I guess. And you can draw pictures on it, and there's plenty of pictures of beautiful drawings on an artist's conch on the lower side that you can find on the internet. Just look them up for yourself. And this one doesn't bruise. Maybe because it's so cold? I don't know. This type of fungus causes brown rot. It basically decomposes the wood. As far as I know, only dead wood. It doesn't grow on living trees. So it's a major decomposer in the nature. And this orange band here. That's how you know this is the red belted polypore. This polypore can grow for a few years and the red band, or in this case kind of orange, develops between the last year's part, which is this dark one, and the white underside, the fertile side. That's basically a telltale sign that it's a red belted polypore. And it also has this kind of glossy finish on the upper side, like a varnish almost stands out much more when conditions are more humid, but even now when it's dry, it still has this glossy feel and glossy look to it. Let's take a look at this bruise, because the red belted polypore tends to bruise kind of yellow, yellow, but this one doesn't bruise at all yet. Everything else suggests that it's a red belted polypore, so I'm gonna assume it is, even though it doesn't bruise like that. Well, they don't always bruise. If you look at mushroom guides, the red belted polypore is listed as inedible, probably because it's tough as hell. I mean, it's not chewable, much like reishi, which I showed you in another video. Nevertheless, there are studies, there have been studies done on medicinal properties of this fungus, and they found that it has anti-cancer, antioxidant, and anti-inflammatory properties. So even though it's generally listed as inedible and its medicinal qualities are not generally recognized by guides, it does in fact possess many medicinal properties. It just has not been studied extensively. What is recognized by guides is that it can be used as tinder, which is in a way common with these bracket fungi or shell fungi. Well, it's a multi-year fungus. It can grow bigger 
grows through winter, through multiple years. So I'm not sure if I should leave it here or harvest it because you can make tea from it and enjoy its medicinal properties like that. Uh, I guess I'm gonna leave it here for now. Still no bruise. Still no bruise. Well, that's odd. But I guess it happens. It is a red belted polypore though. Fomitopsis pinicola. Good medicinal mushroom.